Hello friends, we want to talk about circle theorem today or circle geometry and we are going to be discussing on how to show that the angle that substance at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference. We want to show how to prove that. So you are welcome and happy listening. Now, looking at the diagram above, we we'll discover that we have ABC, side ABC, now with the center hole. Now, with the center hole now, it means BO, line BO is a radius because a radius is a line that starts from center of a circle and touches any part of the circumference. So line BO starts from center of the circle O and then touches B at the circumference, which means line BO is a radius. And, and line CO is also a radius. CO or OC is also a radius. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to construct another radius which will start from A to O, center of the circle. So that means line AO is also a radius, meaning that we have three radi uh, radium. Then, if you now look at that line that we have just constructed, line AO, now it has divided that shape inside that circle into two isosceles triangles because the two sides radius radius will be equal and a, a triangle that has two sides equal is called an isosceles triangle so we have two isosceles triangles and the, one of the properties of an isosceles triangle is that the base angles are equal and that's why we have xx as the base angle of the triangle aob or boa and then yy as the base angles of the triangle aoc the we use yy there because the two the base angles must be equal and xx for triangle AOB, isosceles triangle AOB, because the base angles must be equal. Then, if we extend that radius AO out to form a kind of um, exterior angles for, for the two isosceles triangles, now we have the angle N as the exterior angle for the isosceles triangle AOB. And angle M for exterior angle to the isosceles triangle AOC. Now, we from here we'll be able to prove another theory. Stay tuned. The theorem we want to talk about is, uh, is on triangle and says that when we have an exterior angle in a, of a triangle, that exterior angle is equal to the addition of the 
two opposite interior angles. That is, as we have G inside, our, I mean, as the exterior angle of the triangle above here, we can get that G in two ways. If we go by saying sum of angles on the straight line, G plus 60 equals 180. That's sum of angles on the straight line. Now, that will now wait to sum up to 180. Then G equals 180 minus 60 and G equals 120. We can as well get the G by using that theorem that I just mentioned earlier that says an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. That is the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles, which means G equals 50 plus 70 g equals 120 now from here we can now prove that n from the uh, previous shape n which is the exterior angle to the isosceles triangle aob that n equals x plus x because x and the x there they are the two opposite interior angles to that n the exterior angle so n equals x plus x which means n equals 2x and then for triangle aoc the exterior angle is m that means m equals y plus y y and y they are, they are the two opposite interior angle of the isosceles triangle aoc so m equals summation of y plus y so m equals y plus y which means m equals 2y so since from our diagram angle boc equals n plus m then angle boc equals 2x plus 2y why because n is 2x and m is 2y so if we plug in 2x to replace n and 2y to replace m it means angle BOC equals 2x plus 2y. Now, if you factor out 2 that they have in common from 2x plus 2y, then we have 2 into bracket x plus y. Close the bracket. Now, since angle BAC equals x plus y, now we can easily plug in that x plus y now, which is angle BAC in uh, angle BOC equals 2 into bracket S plus Y. The S plus Y there, we replace it with angle BAC because angle BAC is, is equivalent to S plus Y. So we have angle BOC equals 2 into bracket angle BAC. And this is to prove that or to show that the angle that subtends at the center of a circle, which is angle B O C is twice the angle at the circumference, which is angle B A C. So that's why we have angle B O C equals two into bracket B A C or angle B O C equals two times angle B A C. So number one example here, now we have this shape here with ABC, the angle center here is 60, it means 
if the angle BOC is 60, then angle BAC is 30. Because the theorem says angle that subtends at the center of a circle is twice the angle at circumference, which means angle at the center of circle here is 60. The angle at circumference is uh, will be 30. That is 60 divided by 2, which is 30. Which means we can as well get angle BAC, the angle at circumference, by dividing angle BOC by which is 60 by 2. Or if you want to get angle BOC, angle at the center of circle, we can just multiply angles at the circumference. That's BAC by 2. That's 30 times 2, 60. And vice versa. Another example here is uh, we have this shape with A, B, C, D, then we have we have to find W, X, Y. We are given the angle 280 there. The angle 280 there is angle as a center. Y, X is also angle at center of that circle. 280 there as angle at center of that circle, we go for Y, that Y down. That is 280 there is twice Y. That means to get Y, we are going to divide 280 by 2, which is 140. That means y is 140. Then x, to get x, x and 280, they are sum of angles at a point. Sum of angles at a point is sum up to 360 degree. So x plus 280 is equal to 360 that means x equals 360 minus 280 x equals 80 degree if at x is 80 degree x is twice w that is w equals 80 divided by 2 that means w equals 40 degree So this, uh, from the diagram above, that's the explanation I explained earlier, and this is the solution here. X plus 280 is equal to 360. X equals 360 minus 60 is equals 80 degree. Now, since X is twice W, I've explained all this one earlier. Twice W, according to the theorem, then we have W equals 80 divided by 2, which is 40. Then Y equals the half of 280 because y is uh, 280 is twice y then 280 divided by 2 that means y equals 140 degree so from here we shall continue to be having this type of classes for normal mat uh, general mathematics for those that are requesting for it some of the student online requested for explanation on this topic and that's why I, I have to make provision for this and we we'll continue like this once in a while to explain some topics on general mathematics so why we are still going to continue also with mathematics olympia topics so two of them will go simultaneously thank you very much for listening don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to like and to uh, to like the videos and to click notification button for more of this and to share the videos with your friend. Thank you. Till we miss next class.